Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on Fragmental View. In this video, I'm going to be looking at Dendera from the house of Centauri Perfumes. The truth is out there. <laughs> uh, that's my other channel. Aliens and shit. So yes, I really want to channel my inner fragrance view whilst I share my thoughts on Dendera. Peter's videos are always so well thought out and technical that I really want to do Dendera justice. Centauri Perfumes is a brand started by Peter Carter, who also has a YouTube channel called Fragrance View. Peter has had a long-standing passion and interest in perfumery, and he's often talked on his channel about his own fragrance creations. Finally, we have them. I feel like we've been waiting such a long time for this and his fragrances have now arrived. He launched just at the end of the year back in December 2019. Peter has invested a massive amount of time and money into this fragrance brand and he would not have put these to market until he was completely happy with his creations. And I feel, and I think you will know what I mean if you watch Peter's channel, he has very high standards. So we've all been waiting in anticipation for this fragrance line. So far there are three fragrances in the lineup, two have already been released, one is yet to be released in March I think it is. And the idea is that there are three different timelines represented within Centauri perfumes. So the first one concentrates on the ancient and natural world and those fragrances are composed of natural materials. The second represents the present and these fragrances will be composed of a mix of synthetics and naturals. The third represents space and the future and I believe these fragrances will be composed of synthetic materials. Now Sometimes synthetic materials get a bad name, but there can be some beautiful, amazing, out of this world, literally, synthetic molecules created. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what happens with that down the line. That is the one that is yet to be released. That will be called Proxima. So, so far released, we have Dendera, which is what I'm talking about today. So this represents the ancient and the natural world, and then Gaia represents the present. Now within each of these timelines, there will be fragrances. So Dendera is the first of the ancient and natural world releases. There will be more in this red bottle. Gaia, which is the white bottle, is the first of the present. So there will be more white bottles and then there will be more blue bottles. So that is Peter's long-term plan for the brand. So pretty exciting, I think. Something I'm really excited about with this brand is the presentation. Peter has put such money and time and thought into the presentation of his fragrances. So let's take a closer look at the presentation of this beautiful bottle and the notes that are inside. Dendera is composed of nutmeg, cinnamon, orris butter, rose absolute, Vietnamese oud, Indian sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, frankincense, myrrh, labdanum, Madagascan vanilla and white ambergris. This fragrance is made up of so many high quality and very expensive materials. I'm actually surprised it doesn't cost more than it does. It's inspired by the mysteries of ancient Egypt. Dendera is an ancient temple in Egypt. And when I smell this, it immediately transports me to the ancient temples of Thailand. I haven't been to ancient Egypt, but when I was traveling around Thailand, you, you tend to visit temples because there's a lot of them in Thailand. And you walk into these old temples and you get this kind of ancient, earthy, musty smell, but you get the smell of incense. So it's a really kind of strange, exotic and mysterious smell. And Dendera just takes me back to those temples. So when this opens, you get this spicy, dry dustiness. And it reminds me also of walking around the spice markets, the souks in Dubai, but I'm sure that that would apply to any spice markets that you would visit anywhere around the world in, in hot countries. It has a very potent, spicy, dry, dusty 
earthiness to it. And as it dries down a little bit, the incense begins to reveal itself and it really sparkles and lends a very enigmatic, mysterious quality to the fragrance. It makes me think that I could be some kind of explorer or adventurer and I've discovered an ancient temple that has been sealed up for thousands of years and I'm the first person to enter this room, this temple, and all these smells, all these ancient, dusty, earthy, incensey smells have been sealed in and I'm smelling these for the first time. It really is extremely transportative. There is some oud in here which I feel adds an earthiness to the fragrance. I think it pairs beautifully with the orris root. It's not creating an animalic accord. It's not skanky in the slightest. I want to talk about the orris root because for me, I feel that that is running through the heart of this fragrance. I detect the orris root from beginning to end. Orris root is one of the most expensive materials that can be used in perfumery. You have to grow the orris root for around three years, then it has to be dried out and left for three years, and then one ton of orris root will yield one kilo of orris butter. So it's extremely low yield, making it very expensive. I think one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive raw materials that can be used in perfumery. I feel like Peter's used a lot of orris butter in this, which is why to me, it smells so high quality and so expensive. Oris butter has a woody, earthy aroma, but it also has some floral nuances. When it's been aged for long enough, it can have a little bit of a violet accord and also a bit of iris. So it's got some delicate floral nuances. And it's also got a bit of a chocolatey type of smell to it as well. So it's got this waxy, chocolatey vibe, uh, which makes it just smell to me very rich, very opulent. As Dendera dries down, it does lose some of that potency that it has in the opening, but it becomes this lovely, smooth scent, perhaps smoothed out by the sandalwood, sweetened a little bit by the high quality Madagascan vanilla, although it never becomes too sweet. It's a quite a dry fragrance all the way through. I actually find the dry down of Dendera to be very calming, very relaxing. So overall, I would describe the aroma of Dendera as dry, spicy, dusty, earthy with an intriguing mysterious quality. I actually had a friend of mine smell this who's traveled around ancient Egypt. She's visited a lot of temples and asked her if it reminded her of those temples and she said it absolutely did. It really transported her back to those temples of ancient Egypt and interestingly she said it specifically reminded her of the smells of these temples first thing in the morning. So they would try and get to these temples before the crowds got there. And it was first thing in the morning before the dust had settled. So there was more of a dustiness to the air. And she said this definitely reminded her more of those early mornings in the temples rather than later on in the day, which I thought was quite interesting. Dendera is quite a thick and dense scent. I think you could wear it for lots of different occasions, different times of year. I think if you were wearing this as a day scent or maybe a work scent, I would just go uh, light on the sprays but I think it could work if it's your style, if you think you can carry this style of scent off. So I would say sample if you can, because it is quite an artistic scent. So I don't know if this will be for, for everyone. In terms of the uh, age of the person who would wear this, I think it's a little older, I would say probably 30 plus, but you know, that's not to say anyone younger than that couldn't get away with, with wearing this. Again, sample if you're interested in the composition of this fragrance. Performance for me was fantastic. I got 10 hours plus out of this. I was getting a good projection for the first two to three hours and then for the whole life of the fragrance for the 10 hours I was wearing I was getting wafts. I think I did spray some on clothes as well and that always just helps the life of the fragrance. So definitely has some muscle when it comes to performance. This is about as high quality and well thought out as perfumery it gets. If you want to invest in some of the best materials available in perfumery and you want them contained in one of the best presentations I've come across in a long time, I can highly recommend Dendera. Well done, Peter. So those are my thoughts on Dendera. I know on the website it's currently sold out. I'm filming this in January. I think it will be back in stock in February 2020. So do try and get some samples if you think this one works for you. Have you tried it yet? I would love to hear from you. I know there's been some reviews and I know there's been a lot of praise for this fragrance so far. So do let me know if you've tried it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.